Hey, Kayak Cliff here. We're on a random uh, river in North Carolina and we're doing an all inflatable trip. Got, got my buddies here, got Mike and John and his wife, Jen. We're in two Sea Eagle Razor Lights and one Sea Eagle Easy Light. We'll see you on the river. This video made possible by Sea Eagle Inflatable Kayaks, Canoes, Boards, and Watercraft. By Brompton, the iconic quality British folding bike. By Shelta Sun Hats and Sun Gear. By Nutsack, classic quality masculine everyday carry bags. And Bellman, your on the go and at home espresso maker. I guess it'd be a good idea if I put my car keys in the dry box. We're doing this river the end of the season. Uh, we're in the first, we're, we're actually Labor Day, first week of September. And uh, water levels, they vary. This is a natural flow river, so there's no dams to control the flow. And uh, so a little dragon here and there, but uh, these razor lights, you can run these easily with no fins, which I usually do, no skegs. So they go through inches of water. And the easy light, um, I have a modified small skeg on that so it doesn't really drag too badly. I'll show you in a minute. And that's the beauty of an open cockpit kayak. Just so comfortable to get in and out of. Uh, and you never know what the, what the flow rate is gonna be on these rivers. And being able to get in and out is just golden. I uh, really like that feature. And that's how all of the seagull boats are. Just open cockpit, easy in and out. and durable too. Boy, this bridge is looking pretty sketch. <laughs> Look at that. I remember uh, if the water's up a little bit, you're uh, doing the limbo getting under this thing. Okay, let's see here. We're doing the limbo. Coming under the bridge. I don't even know if the camera will fit. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, camera fits. 
<laughs> Woo! There we go. There's a will, there's a way. Ah. All right. Spilled my drink. I tell you, the world of inflatables has just opened up the type of kayaking that I like to do. Um, I, I came here to North Carolina from Texas um, a couple days ago, and I had one paddle board and three inflatable kayaks. So I had a, a, the new Sea Eagle longboard and two razor lights and one easy light. And uh, <clears throat> And the back of my pickup just rolled up. They took up a quarter of the space of the of the pickup uh, bed, and tons of room for other things. And uh, you know, we used them the other day, and we're using them today uh, with the new mega pump that Sea Eagle just came out with. I tell you, it is. We blew up four boats and had 60% lithium battery charge left. And the mega pump, it just blows like a hurricane. Uh, when you turn that on, it's like a jet engine, uh, you know, inflating these kayaks. So, um, you know, if you're hand pumping, yeah, maybe the first couple times you use your kayak, they come with a hand pump, great. But yeah, get the mega pump. Uh, it just makes it so much easier and so much more enjoyable uh, with any type of uh, Sea Eagle inflatable product. I did this river several years ago and it wasn't as clear as it is now and the water was higher uh, with more current. It's, uh, it's been great paddling it today. It's just beautiful and clear. And, uh, but we're, we're Labor Day. And the one thing I notice every year and I mention it in my videos is this is some of the best times to get out on the water. I mean, some during the summer, I try to do my videos and a lot of my adventures uh, on the weekdays because there's not as many people out. But boy, after football starts, I don't know what it is, but nobody wants to get out in the outdoors anymore. <laughs> They're all watching football. Uh, to, for me, that's the time to get out uh, even more. So, plus the weather's not as blistering hot and, uh, and you still have some beautiful fall weather. But up here in the high country of North Carolina, it's it's nice and cool in the summer anyway. But uh, I guess the key thing is, whatever you like to do outdoors, just get out and do it. You know, watching a good game is fun, and uh, but don't neglect your time outdoors because that it's just rejuvenating. I'm waiting for Cliff to fall down. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, those white leggings, he's got odds of blooper enough for me. Okay, Mike's giving me, giving me crap about my white pantyhose here. They're not pantyhose. <laughs> they're Pearl Pearl Izumi uh, sunblocks. Uh, they're for cyclists, for bike, bikers. And uh, if you want to keep the sun off your legs, um, I find they work great and they're nice and cool in the summertime. And what's nice about them is here. You basically, you just put up, pull them on and slip them up under your shorts and then if you ever want to take them off it's like you don't have to take your shorts off 
so you put them on like a pair of uh, <laughs> pantyhose, I guess. But they, they, they shield you. They're, they're 50 SPF. Uh, shield you from the harmful effects of the sun. Of course, you can use sunscreen. I'm not a sunscreen user. Um, you know, a lot, well, not a lot, all of your commercially um, available sunscreens that you typically see everybody use, they're harsh chemicals. They're, yeah, I think they cause skin cancer too. I don't think they're good. Now, if you use a mineral-based sunscreen, those are great. They're like zinc oxide or some other mineral-based product. They're great and you no know, harmful benefit, no harmful effects from them. The only thing I don't like about those is they just leave everything white. And yeah, you can rub some of them in uh, and there's some that leave you less white but you almost have to shave your legs to, to be able to put it on and I'm not gonna do that. So I just, I just choose to cover up. And usually I have sun gloves on from Shelta and the sun gloves make great paddling gloves and I, I was in a hurry and I got out of the car without grabbing them. So no sun gloves today, but uh, I have my Shelta hat. You see these in all my videos. This is their widest brim hat, and look at that. I mean, it just, it shades everything. But if I want more, you know, I, I, I've gone to where I like hoodies, and I can put that on, and I can really cover up my face. But uh, I find the shelter wide brim hats do wonderful. And this is, link for these hats are in my description box, plus all the other shelter products. And, um, uh, they're they're wonderful. They hold up to a 40 mile an hour wind. There's a, uh, a lanyard or a chin strap that goes on that holds it on when it gets super windy, but I have it not deployed today. But I uh, can't recommend Shelta enough. If you're looking for what I consider the best sun hat out there, check out the link in the description box. I tell you, this river is really putting these uh, inflatable bottoms to the test. And I must say, they're, <laughs> they're doing well. Again, I mentioned before, the, uh, this razor light and the easy light, they have a secondary uh, layer on them underneath. Uh, that's a thousand denier as well, just like the product. And I'm talking to you going backwards. I'm not paying attention. But uh, I've gotten high center a lot today, and uh, they're doing well. They really hold up. I'm, I'm impressed. This is a great boat for this type of water. It's really nimble. It's super shallow, so you don't have to worry about bottoming out very much. I mean, we've only really had to portage the boat like two or three times, and even then, if we would have just picked better lines, we would have been a lot better. But yeah it's fun and it's nice it's an open bow because you can like move your legs around and not feel all like stuck inside a closed bow boat absolutely gorgeous day though my gosh Oh, this shade tree that I'm going underneath covering the river is just gorgeous. Ah. I tell you, the high country up in North Carolina is just a fabulous place. 
The mountains are so beautiful. The temperature is so nice, even in the summer. It's like high as 76, 78. Uh, maybe some days it'll get to 80. Some days it'll be 68. But uh, it's September 2nd right now. And in a couple days, we're going to have some mornings uh, in the upper 40s. So, uh, as I see some leaves falling down now, but they're not falling down for fall, I don't think, yet. Still got a little more time for that. One thing you got to keep in mind about an inflatable is because of the flotation this boat holds 500 pounds so the inherent floatability of the inflatable is to hold it up higher in the water when you sit in a hard shell kayak it sinks down in the water and displaces more water and therefore takes more depth to paddle so when you're going shallow your best bet is to be in an inflatable because it's going to hold you up higher because of the buoyancy of the boat. And, uh, you know, that, that's been key today. I've, I've gotten through some skinny areas that I would have never thought I'd get through. But then, you know, ultimately there's some areas you just can't get through. Okay, as promised, we're back. And I got the boats flipped over. We're going to look at how did they do with all of the rubbing and scrubbing and everything on the bottom of this river? We, I mean, we, we bought them out a ton today, but here we got this right here is a three to four year old razor light. It's been down lots of stuff like this. And I mean, it looks great. This is a brand new razor light. Now this right here is clear gorilla duct tape that I put on here as a sacrificial layer and then when I get back and dry and clean this up I'm gonna peel it off and I'm gonna replace it with a new layer of the clear gorilla tape that stuff is tough right there but look at the bottom of the hull I mean it looks it looks fabulous I just put again I put the clear gorilla tape there as a sacrificial layer because here I had put putty on here as a sacrificial bond and then this is the easy light and even with that v bottom it's it sits a little bit lower in the water with that v bottom it just it looks great and this has only been out about five times this is only about a three month old boat so you can see i mean inflatables work great i get a ton of questions from you guys about how do inflatables work in skinny water well, you can see for yourself. Hey, I just want to thank everybody for coming with me on today's journey with uh, uh, three sea eagles and, uh, you know, a shallow river story. I get a lot of questions about how do these work on shallow rivers, and now you know. Uh, they work great. So, hey, if you like my videos, give me a thumbs up and a like, you know, like it, and please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell for more videos. Uh, I, uh, I do outdoor adventures, biking, camping, boating, and of course kayaking is my mainstay. So uh, love to have you as part of the uh, Kayak Cliff family. Again, just like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time out on the water. Kayak Cliff out. God's blessings to you and your families.